So last week I just happened to be into a Joann's fabric store and I was walking by the foam department where they have all their foam and uh, that lady asked me, she said, hey, do you think you can get this foam down for me? It's kind of stuck up a little high. So I said, sure. So I, I got it down for her and I, just out of curiosity because I said, this is kind of what I do. I said, what, do you mind me asking, what are you doing? She goes, well, I'm, I'm making some cushions. I've got a customer. And I, 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 I do some alterations and I make some cushions here and there. And I said, oh, that's great. So she was going to purchase the, the foam. And I said, excuse me. I said, now, do you ever use a poly bonded Dacron on your cushions? Well, she looked at me like I had four heads. And she goes, well, what's that? I, I said, well, it's a Dacron. I said, they have it over there. It's fairly cheap. Um, and if you put it around your foam... It'll make your cushions uh, look a little bit nicer, and it'll make them crown. And she kind of walked away from me. <laughs> she thought I was crazy. Um, and I guess because I'm a male, a lot of people just uh, take it that I don't know anything about sewing or whatever, and maybe I should just mind my own business. I don't know. Anyhow, so it brought me to this. We make a lot of cushions here. And so I, I thought I'd share a few tricks and tips on um, what you may want to consider doing when you're making a cushion. And the biggest thing really is to using a poly bonded Dacron. And you can either use a half inch or one inch and you wrap the foam in it. And there's a lot of benefits. So here are two cushions side by side. This one's had the Dacron on it. This one doesn't. And right away, I think you can tell even with the camera, this one has a nice crown to it and this one is very very flat but it goes beyond that when you dacron and you dacron around the sides all your sides should get all filled in your corners become nice and filled here and it makes a huge difference even coming around to the back there's a zipper going around here and it fills the whole thing when you don't dacron wrap besides it looking like a pancake, I hope you can tell this on here, but this is all kind of loose, like I can even grab it. It's very loose in here, it's loose around the back side of it, and in the corners aren't quite filled in the way they should be. And if you press on it, see if you can see this, just my fingers are going into it. And But that's it. Now when you press on this, watch the whole thing flexes. And that's what you want. It softens the cushion. Your whole thing, it, when you sit on it, you can feel the difference. And for the amount of money it costs you to Dacron wrap it, it's a good idea too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cushion out. I'm going to show you exactly how to Dacron wrap it. And a lot of people um, also think you have to use spray glues. I don't like using spray glues. Um, it's bad for the environment. It's bad for your health, uh, breathing in. And it's not necessary as long as you're going around the sides with it. We can just use it with a basic stapler. So I put this to the side. Let me get this out of here. And we'll start. It is an extra st step, but it's well worth it. Oh, a lot of static. Hear that electricity just flying right off of it. Okay, so I've got my Dacron pre-cut. And when you're making a cushion, if you're not going to Dacron around the sides of it, this is the Dacron that's going to go around the sides. And if you're actually not going to go around the sides, cut your foam an inch bigger. An inch in the width, and an inch in the depth of it. And that way when you, you compress the foam into your cushion, it'll make a better cushion. So a big mistake people make is they cut the foam exactly what the cushion is. And then it's kind of loose. So if you're going to Dacron wrap it, you're going to cut the foam exactly to what the cushion was made. And by the time you Dacron it, it's going to fill in all those nooks and crannies. If you don't um, Dacron wrap it, that's when you want to cut this an inch wider in width and length, and that'll just help it. Although I always recommend Dacron wrapping, especially like this, these have cutouts, that just looks better. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I, I just put my foam on here like this. And I'm using a pair of plier staples that look like this. Now this is called um, um, Ace Clipper. Uh, and th these staples are a little special, um, the way they're made. I should probably bring one over to show you what it looks like. Um, but they hold up really well, although you don't have to use a special stapler. Any stapler will work. Anything that's a little longer, you can use. If you just one that's hanging around the house, I've used them in the past, they work fine. Now, this Dacron is cut um, all the way around it. Um, a half inch big and the same way with the uh, bottom piece they're both a half inch big and this is three inch foam and I cut the border four inches so that's even a half inch I always like the front to have the uh, if there's going to be a seam you either want to put your seam on the on the side or on the back this piece happens to go all the way around the back to it, of it so what I'm going to do and I will get up on the table and I'll sh show you a little better here. Let me just turn this, turn this around a little bit. As a matter of fact, I'm going to jump right up on this table so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So to begin, start in the back of it like this. And all I'm going to do is start stapling. I'm going to leave a little bit here because I have to add an extra piece. And all you do is take that staple, stapler and start stapling around. Now for some of those of you that might think this is a cob job, it really isn't. These staples are going to go nowhere. I've replaced hundreds, if not even a thousand cushions, and even ones that I have had done 15, 20 years ago, and these staples are in there just as good as uh, when I first did them. Now I'm going to go right around to the back side because I'm going to stretch this deck around a little bit. I'm going to go back to this side. Once you get all your stations, Now, on the back here, if you join a piece, at least one side of this, I'll show you how you can join it. You can go ahead and add it this way, like this. I've also seen where people stitch the Dacron on it. And I've even seen where they've used a uh, muslin type fabric to um, cover them. But it really adds to the cost. So anyway, this is how it's done. And um, I'm going to go ahead and staple all the way around so you're not watching me uh, do all that. And then we're going to trim it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished stapling all the way around. The next step is just to trim off a little of the extra so you just take your uh, scissors, go on a 45 like this, and just trim off the little extra. Now I want to point out the only place that you can't put staples is anywhere on the front or the bottom of it. It can only, staples can only go around the edges. That's where your seams are, and it also helps keep the, keep the, the, um, the staples from moving where the seams, because it's being compressed. Once you go all the way around here, you're going to put your cushion now. Um, I've had a new person start one time, and we had a bunch of these Dacron wrapped. And they were trying to put it in, and they said, it won't go in. It won't go in the cushion. It's impossible. The cushion's way too big. I said, no, I'm pretty sure it's going to fit in. Well, they were just afraid that they were going to rip the cushion. So, but a cushion has to be pretty big. And, and, and so adding this Dacron, all this is going to do is compress into the cushion. Even though it doesn't look like it's going to go in, it will. 
Now, this is also a regular stapler, and that will also work. This is just a sling line, swing line, however it's said, stapler. Um, you can find them in almost any place. Uh, almost any big box store will, will carry it. So you can you can use this. It, it'll work just as well. Um, the one that I'm using is a little heavy duty. It has um, it's a chisel point stapler, and it's 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 geared more for this type of stuff. It compresses and it in and it it holds up really well. But this because we're doing it more of an, on a commercial and we do a lot of them, so we have to use a real heavy duty stapler. Um, you at home, just put a few extra and you'll be fine. So the last part is we're going to put it in, and I'll show you. It does go in. If you look at the size of this cushion now, you say, oh my God, it'll, it'll never fit in here because it looks so much, so much bigger. You look at the sides of this and, and the sides of that looks up, but it, it compresses right in. Um, so don't be afraid to make your cushion um, big. But of course, you don't want it to be bending. <laughs> you don't want it so big that it's it's actually bowing. But um, you do absolutely want to make sure that your cushion um, is your foam is bigger than your cushion. Like I say, it's not always easy to stuff these in. We use a good upholstery thread, so I'm not worried about ripping it. And it's important, and one thing that I like about Dacron is that you can push that Dacron right into the cushions. It fills up all the corners. So if you're considering replacing your cushions on your couch, and by the way, the foam that they use today on your couch, when you first get it, oh, it's beautiful. Over a period of time, and I'm talking about not much of a period of a time, that foam compresses, and uh, you don't even realize it because you've been sitting on it for like a year. But... Today, they really skimp out on the foam. The foam is very cheap. What I like to use is Mid-Foam Medium or Mid-Foam Medium Supreme. Those are the two. Um, it's right down the middle of the road. It's not like a hard, it gives you um, great durability. And there you have it, that's what you do. And then by the time you close it up, you've got a nice cushion. Anyhow, I won't bother closing up. You've seen what the other one looks like. And, and anyhow, uh, most important step, Dacron wrapping definitely helps your cushions. Gives it a nice crown. Gives it a nice soft look. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.